on the list here we have man united will stick with oligon and Solskjaer, even 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 if we stay even if we end up getting smashed by liverpool so this is a story that came out in it looks like throughout the in, interesting week the main night press department is briefing all press about our developments because obviously it's a quiet week and there's no pressure with games and, and all that malarkey there's a two-week period they can kind of you know what do you call it? Um, fan the flames a little bit. Not fan the flames, but they can kind of dish, diminish the flames somewhat. Uh, pour water all over them. So they're trying their best to make sure they make us, they paint us in a good light that there is actually a plan in place. But, you know, we know there's no plan in place. We know that if Ollis just gone social and ends up losing 6 new at fucking Liverpool and then gets spanked again in the next game, he'll probably have a job. We know it's going to happen. Um, boards are fickle. The moment a board comes out and says, oh, we're standing behind you. We know you're going to do the right thing is the moment that you should be probably deciding what your next steps are going forward um again so this is a story that come out here from the business times there's a few others i think have come out too but i'm going to quickly talk about this one and read this out so this headline is from the business times and it says manchester united confirms oligon and Solskjaer will stay at old trafford and continue rebuilding uh, manchester united has con confirmed that the team boss oligon and Solskjaer is safe on the job and will continue the efforts of beefing up the red devils roster rumors continue to persist that the norwegian manager will be booted out following the united's defeat at the hands of uh uh, equally struggling in Newcastle. If after international break, the United staff suffers another loss, uh, reports claimed it would be over for Solskjaer, but the club board has important things in mind, the Times reported. Only Gun Solskjaer's job in United is safe, even if they suffer a bad defeat at Liverpool next week, the publication said. The United board is said to be willing to give Solskjaer the time and space he requires to reverse the slump of the Reds Devils have been experiencing on the ongoing season. After eight games, United is now in a precarious top position and is only two points shy of getting relegated. So the club is keeping faith on the, in, uh, with the embattled manager. United board is determined to be patient with with Solskjaer emerging the scale of the job he has taken and held a series of meetings with him and the club to, to extensive recruitment staff about four signings including a centre forward they want they want to make next year so interesting things right the problem that I have with the whole Ole Gunnar Solskjaer given time thing is that when we were going through that we went he had a good little honeymoon period with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer then the kind of reality kicked in and we started playing shit we ended the season horribly Right. And during that period, he was he maintained that the reason why we ended it horrible was because we didn't have the adequate level of fitness, right? The players weren't fit enough to carry out what he wanted to do. And it's a common theme you hear a lot about some of the new age kind of modern managers, right? This idea that the first prerequisite, I think even Pochettino's like that, right? Quite a lot of the modern managers won't even include players in their training sessions if they're not at the required level of fitness, right? There's no point of him kind of giving you the instructions or teaching you about shape or teaching you about how he wants the game to play if you can't carry it out in a physical manner if you're not physically fit to do it so they won't even include you in the team right they'll just put you to the side and say hey get fit first once you're fit you can, you can reintroduce you back into the team into re reintroduce you back into a group no problem so social's like no give me a preseason. let me get these guys training first and then you'll see the best of them come out so he gets a preseason. He gets the signings that he wants. He doesn't get all of them. He gets three out of five. We, I think we all said we wanted five signings. That doesn't include the, the three senior players that we let go. If Maybe four of you, Sanchez and Herrera, Fellaini, Lukaku and Sanchez, right? We, we So we needed five before those guys left. And so those guys left. And you think, okay, cool. Let's bring five in and then promote, I don't know, two or three to replace the other ones that have just gone left, right? They're left to kind of support the system doesn't happen he gets three out of the four out of the five but still better than nothing right most united managers prior to his introduction sometimes didn't get anything right you only have to look at only so only you have to look at Roberto Mourinho, the struggles he had with the board getting players in and look at the stuff that um van Gaal had to go through so he got three out of five not too bad he gets the entire preseason to get the players up to speed or doing the things that he needs to do or being a requ the requisite level of fitness and to be able to enact that pressing game quote unquote that he is so I mean, enamored with we st and then we start the season off, you know, a, a victory against Chelsea. That's a bit of a jammy one and whatever. And then now we're in a position where we're at football and the, press and the pressure that or the pressing that he was kind of championing has maybe led to a lot of these muscular injuries that some of our players are suffering from. The press that we're doing isn't necessarily a group press, not like a press of any sort of rhyme or reason. It's just players running full speed at players who have the ball and trying to cut the ball down. There's no kind of team logic or idea behind how we're going to press and how we're going to kind of squeeze the ball out of the opposition it's just kind of players running at the opponents and now we're in a position where some of our senior players are completely injured right and now i've read a story that they're going to supposed to be bringing in some sports um some strength and conditioning specialists to come in and aid Oregon social in kind of trying to remedy some of the injuries that we're having at the moment but it's like come on he had the, all this time to kind of show his mettle as a coach and kind of see that he's heading us in a good direction. But so far, we've seen no improvement in football. We've seen no improvement in shape. We've seen no improvement in personnel. He's been adamant of playing some of the senior players who are obviously past their best. Matic, a player who has been openly 
and you know publicly disrespecting him questioning his, his ability questioning the reason why he's not including the team he's been getting selected in the team matter has been playing rashford has been playing even through injury he doesn't get dropped okay he can't get dropped because we don't have any other senior players but he should be getting dropped. that's what big managers do right they make a call because i'd much rather give rashford a two-week rest and then bring him back in the most important game than have him play against astana or something right so there's nothing he's shown so far has given me any hope that he's going to be able to rectify it with signings and I think that's the problem that we have so far in United. We're not a football team. We're a team that's relying on big num big players coming in and changing our fortunes, individual moments. But that's not what we need. I think most man most fans will think that that squad that we have at the moment, if fit, is much better than the position that we're in now. It's much better than the position we finished last season. We are probably the fourth best team in the league, even with the injuries, right? We probably are if we have a competent manager. I'm probably I'm honestly I honestly think that. I think the Premier League outside of the top three isn't as good as people try and make it out as, right? So if you compete with the top six, top six sides, including Arsenal, including Chelsea going through their transition, you're, there's there's a there's quite a good chance that you're able to finish in the top four. So the fact that Odin on social keeps falling flat on his face, doesn't seem to have an idea of how to change games mid-game, right? The only thing he does is switch the wingers on the flank. There's no real ingenuity about the players he's picking it's all kind of obvious traces nothing kind of clever about what he does what signing is going to do to it i don't really get it but again i guess with if you're united board you fight you've hired and fired everyone else you have to give this guy a chance now right because it's not there's nothing else what you, what's the point of repeating your old mistakes right especially if ed Woodard isn't going to get fired especially if we're not going to get a football director they might as well give this guy a chance now if we get a football director in I think it's probably more likely that, that Sosa will get fired because the football director will have a very clear view of how he wants the football to be played or how he wants the club, the it, how he wants to have a, our image to be molded in. What 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 kind of football do we kind of stand behind? What is our philosophy, right? What what is that kind of flag that we put on the ground? And Sosa can't line up towards it or get behind it, then sort another manager will come in. But at the moment, they're going to probably have to stick with him. Anyway, the article continues. The United manager is in fact. Uh, in fact, has been on a hiring spree, but has elected not to rush in filling the gaps of talent plaguing the, the club right now. I fucking hate this idea of not rushing, not rushing the value in the squad. There is, we have to rush. The football moves on without you if you don't keep up or if you don't innovate or if you don't, you know, whatever. It, it moves it moves along. This idea that we can kind of, kind of take things slowly and wait to see how it goes is nonsense, mate. Absolute nonsense. According to Metro, Solskjaer's focus on hiring young talents as evidence of the recent arrival with Daniel James, Aaron Bazanka, Harry, Harry Maguire. For our future additions, United is bent on following the same model. So Brexit FC, of course. All right, whatever. Also, it's unlikely that Solskjaer will play heed to the recent recommendations by United legend Gary Neville, who acknowledges the club know that they want and the fans know that but they have to be a right type. It's take 18 months to find the players you want. What? It's so annoying. They need a couple midfield strike and a, and and, a, and to carry the front line and a wide player and a left back. On this part, it was clear that the vote of confidence from United board both players. Solskjaer, the mirror reported, instead of enjoying the break, the team boss opted to use time to, for training. His call for training was answered by Anthony Marshall, Luke Shaw, Jesse Lingard, and Eric Bailly. Solskjaer himself is seen in high spirits and gave a thumbs up while driving to the training ground, reports added. Yeah, of course he's in high spirits, man. It's a dream. Like, he's got no right to have that job, right? I think we all hoped, as United fans, that he'd be able to take that job by the scruff of the neck and kind of prove all his doubters wrong because his CV shows that he should have no right to get that job. I think if he leaves or if when if he get, if and when he leaves or if he gets fired, I think his next job will prove what level he's at. Same with David Moyes, right? He left United. Um, so people would like to say, oh, he was unfair. He wasn't given time. He was a fucking garbage manager who achieved garbage results at Everton, stifled them, didn't get them, didn't really take them anywhere that far. I'm sure Everton managers, Everton fans aren't really hankering for the days of a David Moyes. And his next appointment afterwards shows what his level is going to be at. And I think Old Gonzalez is going to see the same thing with him too. His next appointment after this will definitely show his level. I'm pretty sure he won't get another Premier League job again after United. And it's really his own fault. You know, he, he had an opportunity to really kind of you know again rewrite his history give himself a chance to kind of put himself on a world map and really bring something different and new but instead he got scared of losing a job he started playing it safe he elected to pick the likes of ashley young um, he elected to play this weird wing winging uh winger cross thing football with no an actual center forward in the lineup he elected to let go of exit sanchez when we had no senior front striker to play like loads of really weird things that he did he didn't sign a replacement for herrera even though he knew, like, I don't know, 18 months prior that Eddie Herrera was going to go because he, did, he received a derisory um, um, contract extension. He gave a contract extension to the likes of Phil Jones and Craig Smolin. Just completely brain-dead uh, decisions that were in part due to his inability to kind of, you know, maybe 
think a bit think a bit more creatively about solutions that we had on board and now he's he's wondering what he needs what one player we're going to get a manzukis in, in, in the winter even with the i don't know i don't know i don't know man i don't know it's a weird thing to go through but again if the board want to give him time fair enough but i don't think it's going to change anything i think he's an average manager um unfortunately coaching an average squad at the moment with the injuries and he doesn't really have an answer to you know find any solutions to the problems at the moment so 